Hey, I'm Thomas and this is day 12 of 100 days of code in IoT challenge. Today, I'm gonna try DHT11 module, which is a temperature and humidity sensor. I'm gonna try to connect it to ESP8266 and see if we can get the readings from this module. And after that, I'm gonna try to integrate it into our relay controller device and see if we can control a simple electric heater or a dehumidifier. Let me show you the parts and components. I've got ESP8266 attached to the breadboard, DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, USB to micro USB cable, wires, and for the electric heater control, I've got this time-based relay controller based on ESP8266. You can find instructions how to build it in my previous videos, link in the description. This circuit also needs an AC adapter that needs to be connected to the power supply module. And I've got the actual heater. It's one of the cheapest on Amazon. What is important here is for the switch to be manual, right? So the relay can control the power supply to the heater without having to disassemble something here, which, which could be dangerous, right? Okay, well, let's assemble the first circuit. So I'm taking the breadboard with ESP attached and the DHT11 module, and I'm just going to stick in here right to the very end on this side. And first of all, we need to supply po power to it. According to the data sheet, the power supply of DHT11 is between 3.3 .3 and 5.5 volts. So we can supply the power straight away from ESP8266. However, there is one thing to note that the wire between the power supply and the, the plus pin on the DHT module, module cannot be longer than one meter. So yeah, we should be fine, right? So what I'm gonna do now is to connect 3v3 to the plus side. I'm not sure if it's visible. Is the, the left pin is the last one on the edge of, of the breadboard. So I'm gonna connect it there. Then the minus, which is this one. I'm sorry, it's this one actually. Right, not sure if it's visible. And this is gonna go to the ground. And the last step is to connect the middle pin on the HT, which is this one. And that's gonna be connected to D1 pin on ESP. So that is where the data is going to be sent uh, to the module and from the module, right? It needs to send the, the request to the module for the module to send back the temperature and humidity. Okay, so now to the code. Okay, let me create a new project and just read the temperature. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna have to do, let me just maximize the window. What I'm gonna have to do is to go to platform IO, then open this and new project. The project name, Let's call it temperature sensor. The board is going to be node MCU, ESP12 E module, and framework Arduino, and then finish. It's going to immediately open it here, but I don't really want 
to have those two projects open at the same time. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and Temperature Sensor. So just to open this, do you want to save your workspace configuration as a file? No. Okay, so now I got this in a separate window. Okay. Right, so in order to to read the temperature from the from DHT11, we're going to need to install an external library. And again, to do that, I'm gonna go to platform IO section here, then open and the libraries. In the libraries, in the search box, I'm gonna type in DHT11 and press enter. And the library I'm going to install is DHT sensor library for ESPX. The reason why I'm installing this one, not the first one, is the issue with the readings. There is some problem with the negative numbers and it's not solved on DHT sensor library yet. So that's why I'm gonna go for this one. To go for that one, just need to press on it and then add to the project. Make sure the latest version is picked up on the select box. Okay, so here we've got an example how to use it. And that is for ESP8266, so this is my case. And I'm going to copy everything from here. So Command C. And then I'm going to add the library to the project. Need to select project, so that's gonna be the temperature sensor. And then just simply click on the Add button. So yeah, that was quick. It is already installed, so I can close the uh, platform IO tab. And now, since I've just copied entire example, I'm just gonna do Command A, Command V to paste everything. We don't worry about ESP32 section because we don't use ESP32. And also this comment is not needed. Okay, so now what is important is in the setup method to set the right pin. So that's the digital pin where we connected the, the module to. So not the 3v3 or grant, is the D1, right? Because 3v3 and ground was for the power supply, for sending and receiving the information, I have connected the wire to pin D1. And also that needs to be changed from DHT22 to DHT11, since I'm using DHT11 component, not the other one. Okay, that's not something that I need. Okay, so this board, that is also not, oh yeah, that's just gonna print out uh, ESP8266. Okay, so that's what is needed to just, yeah, just run it quickly to see if we get readings. Okay, so I'm going to deploy it now. Okay, it's deployed. Let me connect to the serial monitor. And we should, oh, yeah, okay. I forgot to change the monitor speed. That should be the same as here. Okay, just gonna deploy it again. Okay, it's connected to serial monitor straight away and we got readings. Okay, let's have a look at the code so we can check what those readings are. Right, so the first, so from those columns, the one on the left is the status. So we got, we're getting okay. 
then the humidity that's probably the percentage of humidity so we got 61 temperature that's 22.3 I assume is the Celsius so centigrade unit and then we've got the Fahrenheit 72 then compute heat index I'm not actually sure what is the the heat index in this library something to verify and then again compute heat index in in Fahrenheit but yeah for me that that looks very similar to to the temperature I could have a look going back to platform IO and the library and again DHT uh, DHT 11 that should be and this one I could have a look if there is any information about the github repository which is here and that is going to open the yeah let me just show you this so that opened the browser window with the repository so we could get some information about the heat index compute the heat index default temperature is centigrade okay still not sure what is heat index heat index okay combine uh, temperature related to humidity okay so that's just uh, that's just sort of like independent unit a different indicator okay right we, we actually don't need the heat index in our code what we're interested in is just the temperature okay so having all of this I'm going to remove a few lines from here so we can get strictly just a temperature and humidity this is gonna be something that we need status is also useful to make sure we get okay status and I see there is some sampling period included in the reading and that is blocking operation so I'm gonna have to change that to non-blocking on the on the relay controller right yeah I'm just gonna do another test we don't need all of this I'm just gonna do another test with the temperature and humidity only so deploying it okay so that was quite easy we got 60 percent 22.5 celsius but just the reading of temperature doesn't do anything itself what we could do is for example send this information over http to api gateway to our lambda so we could monitor the temperature of the room or outside right depending where we put the device other option would be to control the electric heater that's that's something i'm gonna do in the part two tomorrow unfortunately because the time is up sorry if you don't want to miss that video and you like this video and want to continue watching me doing the challenge subscribe to my channel if you have any questions suggestions or feedback leave the comment thanks bye